What's good everybody, Justin Lamar here bringing you another NBA 2K20 My Team video and today we are going over the two new cards added to Triple Threat Offline. Now if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that like button and tap that subscribe button like you be tapping these girls pictures on Instagram. I already know you do it, don't lie, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And also, before we start, before we get into these stats of these two players, let me know how many games you have won in Triple Threat Offline. Me, I believe I've won like 60? Maybe 60? I don't play much Triple Threat Offline because playing the CPU gets really boring for me really fast, but it's an easy way to grind your Evo player, so I know a lot of people like to do that. But yeah, just let me know how many games of Triple Threat Offline you've won. All right, let's get into the main part of the video. So first, we're going with Diamond Zach Randolph. He is a 95 overall. His shot close is a 98. His shot mid, 95. 87 three-point, 96 shot IQ, 84 three free throw, and 95 offensive consistency. So his shooting stats are great for a power forward. Let's look at the athleticism stats, 87 athleticism. 68 speed and 68 acceleration that is god awful 84 vertical 98 strength 98 stamina 95 hustle durability we're not worried about that no one ever gets injured if you've ever gotten an injured player player in my team let me know because that has never happened to me in like the past two games actually that 68 speed that sucks but that 98 strength is really good really good 92 inside scoring he has an 80 driving layup, 80 standing dunk, 80 driving dunk, 88 draw foul, draw foul, 95 post moves, 91 post hook, 95 post fade, 85 hands. So this guy is definitely a catch and shoot type of dude. He is a post player. I don't know his uh, jump shot, so maybe he has an easy post fade animation. I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully it's not slow like Dirk's. So playmaking, speed with the ball goes to a 44. His speed goes from a 68 to a 44 when he has the ball. 35 ball handle, wow. 55 passing accuracy, 52 passing vision, and 61 passing IQ. Not a playmaker. Whenever he gets the ball, just be prepared to pass it back out or shoot it. 78 in defending. He has an 88 interior defense, 42 perimeter defense. That's trash. 84 help, 80 pick and roll defense, 62 lateral quickness, 78 pass perception, 73 reaction time, 58 steal, 84 block, 73 shot contest, and 85 defensive consistency. The block is good. He's a good defender in, inside, in the paint, outside the paint. Terrible. If if you put Zach Randolph on, on a guard, he's getting blown by or somebody's shooting on you. You're getting your ankles broken. Don't do it. Rebounding stats are amazing. 96 offense and, 80, and 95 defense. His offense is better than his – his offensive rebound is better than his defensive rebound. That's pretty good. All right, now we're going to get into the badges. He has seven Hall of Fame badges. Back down punisher, contact finisher, cross key score, put back boss, pick and popper, post spin technician, and moving truck. Those are his seven Hall of Fame badges. He has 17 gold badges, consistent finisher, deep hooks, drop stepper, lob city finisher, pick and roller, pro touch, catch and shoot, Flexible release, dream machine, hot zone hunter, quick draw, dream shape, box, brick wall, post move lockdown, rebound chaser, worm. Okay, so now that we've gone over Zach Randolph, let's go to the Amethyst Kirk Heinrich, 92 overall. His outside scoring is a 90. 84 shot close, 88 shot mid, 91 three point, 95 shot IQ, 90 free throw, and 30 off offensive consistency. Why is that so trash? I don't know why his offensive consistency is so garbage, but all right. 88 athleticism, 89 speed, 89 acceleration, 70 vertical, 39 strength, 95 stamina, 95 hustle, and 69 overall durability. Once again, I don't think anybody has ever gotten injured in my team. 2K, if anybody from 2K is watching this, please take out injuries from my team, please. It's just, they had that glitch earlier where people were getting like freaking 100 games, 300 games. Like, just take out injuries altogether. They took out that you could add badges. Take out injuries, please. 69 inside scoring, 82 driving layup, 25 standing dunk, and 25 dri driving dunk. Trash, he cannot dunk. 62 draw foul, no post moves, 28 post moves, 30 post hook, 46 post fade, 95 hands, 
playmaking. He is a point guard after all, 91. 89 speed with ball, 86 ball handle, 95 passing accuracy, 90 passing vision, 94 passing IQ, defending 87, 34 interior defense. Wow, 95 perimeter defense for Kirk Heinrich? I don't remember Kirk Heinrich ever locking anybody up. 95 help defense IQ, 75 pick and roll defense IQ, 94 lateral quickness, 92 pass perception, 74 reaction time, 93 steal, 30 block, 79 shot contest, and 95 defensive consistency. His rebounding is trash, 45, 32 offensive, and 50 defensive. He can't rebound worth nothing. Now, I haven't looked at the badges yet. I'm about to look at them right now. If one of his Hall of Fame badges is clamps, because he has three Hall of Fame badges, I'm going to be shocked. His three Hall of Fame badges are Unpluckable, Pick Dodger, and Trapper. I was about to say, if that Kirk, if Kirk Heinrich got clamps, bro, he would be pretty valuable. Pretty valuable. But, I mean, he's still a good card regardless. So, 24 gold badges. We're going to go through them right quick. Fancy footwork. Slithery finisher. Teardropper. Catch and shoot. Corner specialist. Green machine. Quick draw. Dimer. Downhill. Wow, he has downhill. Wow. Flashy passer. Floor general. Lob city passer. Needle threader. Quick first step. Ooh, that's a good badge that's for Kirk Heinrich. Space Creator. Oh, he has gold clamps. Oh, my goodness. Kirk Heinrich might be that dude. He has gold clamps. Heart Crusher. Interceptor. Intimidator. Are you kidding? Lightning Reflexes. Sorry. Off-Ball Pest. Pickpocket. Tire tireless Defender. And Defensive Leader. Are you kidding me? This card is really good. This card is really good. He can shoot. He can defend. This card is really good. Like, think about it. If you have Amethyst or Diamond Coach... You're getting like plus four stats. So you add plus four for, to all those shooting stats and they're all good. His driving layup is an 82. That's eh, but are you really going to be going for layups with Kirk Heinrich? No, you're going to be shooting. You're going to be shooting the lights out. And he's a great defender. Zach Randolph is also a good card, but I see him being overlooked. I mean, let's be honest. PD Giannis is in the game. Zach Randolph ain't sticking with PD Giannis, bro. You can have, you can have good defense, but I mean, he has a 60 speed. His perimeter defense is trash, and no one's going to post up with Giannis. They're running full court, and of course the train is going by. Ignore that. I'm so sorry. I mean, he has an 87 three-point, so I, get, I guess he is a stretch big, but the defense kills him. The defense kills him because he's a, he only has good interior defense. He's basically a center. He's basically an undersized center. He can play center, but he's 6'9". So it's just little things about Zach Randolph that are like, eh, do I really want to use him? But he's not a bad card by any means. I, I think he's just going to get outplayed by better cards. I would rather have Kirk Heinrich than Zach Randolph. But if I end up getting Zach Randolph, that would totally be a win. If I get any of these cards by playing Triple Threat offline, I will definitely upload that gameplay for you. This video has gone on way too long. But there's some more videos on the screen. Tap one of them. Go watch that one. But thank you for watching. Make sure to like the video if you haven't already. Tap that subscribe button like you be tapping these girls' pictures on Instagram. And I will see you in the next video.